What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. I added another vintage Kenner Star Wars diecast item to my collection, and I, I wanted to take the opportunity to pull out the other three that were already in my collection for those of you who may be new to the channel and hadn't had a chance to see them yet. Um, I, th I thought it was worth pulling them back out again. And what's unique about these is these are all loose graded. These are all loose graded by Collector Archive Services. And I would argue that the loose grading for the Vintage Diecast series is second to none when Collector Archive Services get in gets involved. And they, they just do a great job with these cases. This is the Diecast Slave 1. And uh, it's, it's awfully cool how they mount it with like this little ramp, as you can see here. And you can see Boba Fett inside the uh, the cockpit there for the Slave 1. And uh, here's the grading on that one. This is graded 85. I picked this one up loose on on eBay, uh, the, the Slave 1 loose on eBay for like really cheap. I mean, it was like 30 or 40 bucks. I spent more on encasing it, obviously, than the actual cost of this thing. And I'm sorry I cannot get it to focus. There we go. So there it is, 1980 Diecast Slave 1, 85 grade. But it just looks fantastic. And uh, I had CAS add this little bracket here to keep the guns in place because the guns do swivel. And I just think it looks better with them kind of pointed out permanently like that. But uh, it's it's hard to find that one without significant yellowing on the the metal portion. Uh, or excuse me, on the, eh, yeah, on the metal, on the metal portion? No, on the plastic portion, excuse me. So before I forget, this, this, this piece in the middle, the fuselage is plastic. And you can see it's very slightly yelled on mine, but the, the metal portion is the base, the base of the ship. But usually that, that plastic piece will, uh, will, will yellow significantly. And it's, mine's got a little bit, very, very slight, but it still was okay enough to get the 85 grade. But, uh, you'll see a lot of those, you know, when they're loose like that, uh, have significant yellowing if they weren't cared for or kept in a temperature controlled environment. Uh, this is Darth Vader's uh, TIE Advanced. And so this, this is a really nice case that they do for that one. Uh, this one was graded 85 plus. Uh, so you can get a good look at that. I just, I just love the cases though. They just present really nicely. And uh, I, I think they add a lot of value. You know, I think they add a lot of um, uh, added kind of a, a lot of displayability to them. And, uh, you know, just really nice. And then the last one is the snow speeder. This is another tough one to find. Usually there's a lot of chips and things like that on the, on the paint. It's got one little tiny chip right there. I wish my camera would stay focused, but it's just too much going on. I think with all the different angles, but, uh, and this one graded 90, another one that, that can yellow pretty significantly, but the new edition, uh, I picked it up in an auction on eBay. It was sold by Jeff's Collectible Empire. It's Jeff Jacob. He's probably the, the foremost. He's got the best collection, in my opinion. He's got one of the best collections in the world uh, of, of vintage Star Wars stuff. He's got literally everything, just about. And um, anyway, he, he auctions off a lot of stuff on eBay. And I did add a mint and sealed box die cast. So here it is. This is the Millennium Falcon mint and sealed box. An absolutely gorgeous example and uh, here it is. So this this box ended up being a lot bigger than I expected. You know, you see it on on eBay for sale, and you don't expect it to be this big. I was I was expecting about half this size, but uh, really really nice example. You can see die cast metal and high impact plastic. Most of the most of the Falcon is metal. You know, is die cast metal. Um, you know, you got the 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 satellite or whatever you want to call it the radar uh, you got the guns uh, some of the you know the cockpit canopy there and then some of the you know the landing gear and things like that are are plastic but for the most part this is one of the ones that is mainly metal uh, die cast metal versus some of the others we've looked at uh, this has got way more metal than the slave one for example um, but it's, it's really cool to finally add a mint and sealed box example and you can see it's got a little flaw right there and most of the damage to this box was was on the front, um, but you know you can see some some creases, things like that. Uh, here is the other side of it right here, so you can take a look at that. Just gorgeous. So really excited to have that. Here's the grading on it before I forget, and I think it was graded appropriately. Um, let's see if we can get it to. So uh, nineteen. It says nineteen eighty. That's a mistake by CAS. Surprise, surprise. 
Uh, but this is the Kenner Star. This is really a 1979. 1979 Kenner Star Wars diecast metal Millennium Falcon. The box got an 80, the window 90, and then the v F. That really should be a V for vehicle 85. So this label is a mess in my opinion. But uh, but you know usually AFA will will put a V there instead of F. So I, I don't know whoever did the labeling for this. You guys might want to send him back to labeling school because not only did he get the incorrect year, but he put he called it an F instead of a V. But uh, but I think that the actual grading itself is is, is correct because the box it, you know I showed you the damage on the back the, the the back is actually pretty good shape it's got one little ding there awesome uh, box art though I mean look at that box art it's really cool and so you know the 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 Falcon was one of three that came in these boxes most of them were kind of came with like card backs uh, you can see all these here uh, the the X wing. The Vader Advance, TIE Advance, the regular TIE Fighter, and the Land Speeder all came on like card backs, oversized card backs. But when this Series 2 was released, you can see Series 1, Series 2. When Series 2 was released, they put them in boxes like this. And so the Falcon, the Y-Wing, and the Imperial Cruiser or Imperial Star Destroyer all came in these, these really beautiful boxes. And then Series 3, which includes the Cloud Car, the... Um, Slave One, which I've got back here, loose graded, and one other one I can't think off the top of my head. I'm not going to bore you with trying to think of it. Uh, those those all went went back to card backs. So um, this was so Series Two was the only one to have uh, you know to have these kind of boxed items. But you can see that these were were definitely kind of like prototypes uh, in terms of how how those uh, are photographed there because this has got red you know red antenna that's much smaller than the actual item. Uh, this is definitely some kind of weird prototype. It might just be, you know, an artist rendering, so to speak. Uh, it looks that way, actually. You know, all these are kind of just artist renderings. So um, the actual item is much more detailed. You can see the landing gear. The landing gear is plastic, to my knowledge. I don't have a loose one to compare it to, but these are all plastic pieces, the plastic canopy. Uh, but really awesome, really awesome. I got a great deal on it. It was in an auction, as I said. Um, Jeff's Collectible Empire, highly recommend them. Jeff Jacobs, I mean, he's got just an unbelievable collection, but he auctioned off a number of items, and I, I you know, I pulled the trigger on it. I, I didn't expect to win it, but it ended up going for quite a bit less than I expected. I, you know, I've seen sealed examples that are ungraded uh, go for go for more on Facebook than what I paid, even after accounting for you know state sales taxes and things. So, very happy with the purchase price, and um, you know. Here's a let's do a close up here. You can see the the awesome box art where it has the the Falcon inside, but uh, the blister is just in impeccable condition, nicely sealed, and that Falcon is. I mean, it's just a just one of those cool items that I never expected to actually add to the collection, but it it just worked out well um, in terms of timing for me to uh, to add this one. And so I'd love to get, I think the next one I'd really like to get is either a loose or a, a carded uh, cloud car, since I've got a, a pretty good cloud car pilot mint on card run going. I've got um, three or four now uh, of the cloud car pilot action figure, and I'd like to get the, the die cast cloud car to, to kind of go with this collection. But uh, anyway, that's all I really had for this video. I just thought I'd show this latest acquisition. Really, really happy with it. Jeff's Collectible Empire did a great job packing and uh, you know, it, it arrived in like three days from, from Denver. So very, very, very cool item. I've got a little slideshow I put together of all of these die cast vehicles for those of you who like to take a look at it at the end of this video. If you're new uh, to the channel, please consider subscribing. Please leave a like and a, a comment uh, if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon.